Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today I am going to show you another speciality of Hyderabad. You know the reason why I call it speciality because a small community of people actually cook this dish and relish and know the flavor of how tasty this dish is. So today I am going to show you a head curry. You all love fish head curry, isn't it? But today I am not making fish but I am going to make a goat head curry. I am going to start the process of cooking this curry in this pan but you can actually start the entire process in a pressure cooker but because you cannot see it clearly I am cooking in this pan. Add around 2 tablespoon of oil, garam masala, just 2-3 pieces of cloves, cinnamon and cardamom and little bit of shai jeera, chopped onion. Here I have got one full head of a goat, for that add one full onion, add half a teaspoon of salt and cook these onions till they are slightly golden brown. Pinch of turmeric, add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, if you want to add little less you can add little less. When all this masala is cooked, add uh, your cut head of lamb or goat. Saute this uh, lamb head pieces with this masala, then add water and then just mix it once again and then we are going to transfer it into a pressure cooker because it is going to take lot of time when you cook in an open pan like this. So I am going to transfer it in a pressure cooker and cook it fast. Now this goat head curry is in a pressure cooker, I am going to let it cook till it is tender. Usually it takes around 3 whistles. In the meanwhile, I am going to tell you how this head is prepared and cut into these pieces. They take this head and they roast it on a charcoal or on a direct flame and when all the hair on top gets burnt, they take a knife and scrape off any traces of any hair. That's when you get a black colored head of a lamb or a goat and then they cut into small pieces. In many places they remove the skin and cut the head into pieces but you will not get the real flavor. To get the real flavor, you have to have the skin on and uh, while I was growing up as a kid, there are many times I have roasted and cleaned the head of the lamb. Even the legs, what we call paya, it makes an excellent soup and a nice curry which I am going to show in the next future shows. After you cut the pieces of this uh, head of a lamb, you are going to put little bit of turmeric and uh, wash it with little bit of salt added in that water. That cleans up this pieces very nice. Many people believe that the Chinese do not waste any part of any meat. In those terms, I am very much Chinese and I love to eat all the kinds of meats and various parts of it. After around 3 whistles, we are going to remove the pressure. Okay. Now this uh, lamb of head is very well cooked in the pressure cooker. So I am going to transfer back into the pan so that uh, you can see it clearly when I cook this. Now if you see there is lot of uh, sauce in it, we are going to reduce it and we are going to thicken the sauce a little bit more and then we are going to add more spices into it. To this add half a teaspoon of pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder and a pinch of uh, garam masala and add 1 tablespoon of coconut powder. Now you can see that this uh, sauce has reduced. These bones are very gelatinous and they literally stick on your hand and uh, this dish is all ready. Sprinkle a little bit coriander leaf okay. and ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka ding it's all ready to taste yummy yummy lamb head curry yeah? got some nice pieces here ah and this is just a beginning we are going to cook right from the head to the tail in between many gizzards and so many and I am sure many people are going to join and cook these dishes and really enjoy. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this lamb or goat head curry with your wash chef. But remember, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So post your weird recipes at vareva.com so others can enjoy and cook your great recipes. Thank you.